The only problem I have with what Clint Frazier did yesterday, if he wants to stand up for himself, he can stand up for himself. If he thinks he was wrong, he should articulate that he was wrong, which he did. I'm not going to vilify him for that. Here's where I think he had a little bit of a misstep. Blaming his teammates for speaking about the plays in right field where they were defending him. That's a dangerous territory because you don't need any kind of split in that room. Right. You want your teammates to have your back. Number two, you know the Yankees want you to talk. Then say, you go out and talk, but you, you say that you weren't wrong for not talking. Number three, I don't have to talk. It's in the rules. Well, the rules are kind of cloudy. You kind of do have to you talk. You do have to talk. It's part of the rules of engagement. And the Yankees asked you to talk, and the Yankees so that should have been enough. asked you to talk as well. So this guy's too valuable a player to get angry at him about it. And again, I, I probably have a little bit more sympathy to him because of the situation that we had together, which right. I, I thought was settled. I've spoken to him since, but it's still something that rankles him. I think here's the solution to all of this, and it's a simple one. The guy's on the payroll. You have Reggie Jackson, who's on the Yankee payroll. You have Reggie sit down and talk with him about dealing with the media and the importance of it. You've got David Cohn, who works for the Yes Network, which after the deal is finalized, the Yankees are going to own the Yes Network again. Have David Cohn talk to him. David Cohn always felt, admit your mistakes and move on, and you win the media over. Have guys that have been there and done that. Have CC talk with him. Forget about Aaron Boone. Forget about Jason Zillow. Have his contemporaries. Have Hall of Famers talk to him and say, this is the right way to do it. And then if he butts his head up against the wall and doesn't listen, then that's a whole new issue. But I think this is a confused kid right now. He feels as if he's been mistreated. I'd like to get more specifics of that. But right. if he feels it, well, I can't get inside his soul and think he's wrong. But he should not ever cross his teammates and say no, that they were be. wrong for speaking on his wrong. behalf. And what you were alluding to earlier... He's got the right to defend himself. If he wants to go out there and be salty with the media. or yeah, that stuff. right? But that's not what he did Sunday. Sunday he didn't even show up. Right. But so, then he doubled down yesterday. Right, but he doubled salty. down. But I give him credit because at least he did it to the media. Not showing up was the issue. If you wanted to go out there on Sunday after the game and be salty with the media, hey, we could evaluate whether you were too salty or whether that was the right or wrong thing to do. But nobody would be able to kill you for not at least coming out and standing by your locker and addressing what happened in the game. Because it is your job. And to your comparison, your analogy with yourself, what everybody tells you about the punching down or going after the people on Twitter or going after the people that criticize you in the paper, the reason they say that to you is because you can't win. And that's what I would say to Frazier. You're not going to be able to win this battle with the media. No one's ever been able to do it. So just accept the fact that it's a real pain in the you-know-what to do. It's like John Tortorella. He hated dealing with the media. He was there. He wasn't good when he was there. He was insulting to the media, but it was his job. He's the coach of a team. He's got to be out there because it is your part of your job. So if you don't want to say anything, if you, if you want to have a bad relationship with the media, it still behooves you to go out there and at least be at your locker Good or bad. Now, would he have gone out there and been that way if he didn't hit a home run yesterday? Or would he still be hit behind the wall and not come out if he well, went no, over no, four the, and committed an error? When he spoke, he spoke before the game. This was before. Okay, so that was before the yeah. game. Yeah. Now, he's in the lineup today. He's playing right field. So right. yesterday he was the DH. But here's my point, though. If he does actually feel, Donis, if he was wronged, I think that's, that's, that's a problem with society and what Twitter's about as well, which I think is also an issue. Anybody could take their shots at you. And if you feel you're wrong, you have to sit there in a fetal position and take it and say, thank you, sir, may I have another. Not the way I was raised, not the environment in which I was raised. And maybe that's the same thing with him. Now, whether he's right or wrong about being quote-unquote wronged, if he feels it and wants to be salty about it, he has every right to do but it. But he should address the media because you're going to get yourself into I, more problems. As you said, it's a hard fight I, to win. I almost feel like, though, this whole I've been wronged by the media is just an excuse. He probably doesn't want to do it. If he's got a problem with Susan Wallman, don't talk to Susan anymore. If he's got a problem with you, Michael, don't talk to Michael Kay anymore. But I love these athletes who feel like they were wronged by a bad headline or one guy in the media that criticized them, and they shut the entire media down. Are you really doing it because you felt you were wronged by the media, or is that just an excuse because you don't want to have to deal with the media after you commit a couple of errors out in the outfield? See, I think that's what it's really about. He doesn't want to do it. 
He doesn't want to have to deal with the media and he's coming up with excuses because he forgave you and he forgave Susan. So why is that being brought up months later? But it's an excuse. He doesn't want to have to deal with it. Nobody wants to have to deal with it, but it's your job. And of all the things you have to worry about, this is the least of them. All right, you're a Major League Baseball player. You're living the dream. If five minutes every day you've got to deal with the media, then you just do it. Don't make excuses. Just do it. I think it's just an excuse that he's making that the media wronged him. Come on. I, if he, but, but we don't know that. If he really feels that way, no, why he, can we argue with him if he really well, because, feels Because two examples he gave, Michael, he forgave the people. Well, so why is he using well, you no, saying no, no, he should have no, played no, with wait, a concussion wait, wait a as a reason he doesn't want to talk to Listen, the media? I spoke with him, said I was sorry. He never said, oh, you're forgiven. But, but he, you talked to and him about it. And we have spoken it. since. All right, yes. you, and you've spoken since. So if he's got a problem with Michael K, the announcer, Michael K's not in the room after games. Michael K was not at the game on Sunday. So I'm not saying, Michael, he should have a problem with you or not. But don't use, oh, Michael K said I had to go play with a concussion, or that guy or someone said I had to play with a concussion as an excuse why you don't like the media. You said it on a talk show. You guys talked it out afterward. Do you really think that's the reason that the media is against you? You're not in that room every day. Yeah, but he's, uh, he feels like there are things piling up where he is the victim. Well, but he's, it's piling up because you didn't come out and address the media like everybody else did. You think CeCe wants to have to do it? After he gets shelled in a game, does CeCe do it? And what is CeCe? He's a leader. He's a god in New York. Now, I'm not saying that Frazier's going to be a god in New York. He's got to play well. But... Don't sit there and make excuses. I've been wronged by the media. You know how many athletes can say that? Yeah, a lot. Well, you know what? I give him he, credit if he feels that way. I don't. Uh, but I'm, I'm I don't saying, give him credit I for think, blowing off the media. I don't, I, think, I don't think that was a smart play by him. He has. I guess he has the right, and so his agents have probably told him you don't have to talk if you don't want to. Although it says very clearly that it's strongly suggested that all players are made available after each game. But was he having when when he'd have a good game? Would he be at his locker? Has this been an ongoing thing, or was this just after an embarrassing game on a Sunday night? He didn't want to go out and talk to the media because if the media wronged you, somebody told me he did it in Anaheim as well after a bad game, after a bad play in the field. All right. So he's telling you that I don't want to deal with the media because they wronged me. So go four for four with the game-winning home run. Then don't talk to the media because they're the same media that wronged you. So you're being selective. If I have a great game, then I'll talk to you. But if I have a bad game, then I've got a problem with the media and that I don't talk to you. So that's an excuse. I'm sorry.